welcome to my youtube channel and today's lesson is about division without a reminder with what we call the grouping it's found in grade 4 and also grade 3 for instance you are given a question like a mother had 72 apples to share among her three children how many apples did each child get let's solve it. she had 72 apples which she was supposed to share among her three children so the 72 is what we call dividend that's our dividend and three is what we call divisor the answer you're going to get is what we call quotient working out so it's 72 divide by 3 we begin by what we call the grouping we are regrouping according to place value so here in 72 how many tenths are there there are seven tenths so we write bus to represent the tenths so we have one two three four five six seven these are seven tens and two ones so one two how many children do i have i have three children and now these are my children that is the first child second and third now now we start sharing the apples in this kind of division, you begin with the tenths. So we start with the tenth, which is one. We pick the first ten, we give to the first child. The second ten to the second child. The third one to the third child. We also, there are remaining other ten. So we pick the other tenths. And the other ten. The other ten, we take it there. So, when you see there, six tenths are, have been shared. So remaining with one ten and two ones. Therefore, we regroup these tens into ones. How many ones makes one ten? There are ten ones. Therefore, we put our ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are 10 ones plus these ones, they become 12 ones. Now we share these 12 ones with our children here. So the first one goes with the first child, to the second child, like that. Now we pick again. <laughs> shared therefore we want to find out how many apples did each child get so as we had said the bar represents tens so how many tens are here there are two tens so that one is two how many ones are here there are one two three four there are four ones also here there are two tens and one two three four and four ones also here yeah, there are one, two, two tens, and one, two, three, four, four ones. Therefore, each child got 24 apples. 
So now our quotient is 24. In other words, you can also work it out this way. You are given 72 divided by 3. 7 divided by 3, it goes how many times? 2. Then you say 2 times 3, it's 6. When you take away 7 minus 6, you get 1. This is the 1 tenth. So these 1 tenth, we drop the ones there, they become 12 ones, like what we got here. So 12 ones divided by 3, you get 4 because of 12. And there's no remainder. Remember, this kind of division is called division without a reminder with regrouping. In our second example, a teacher had 54 excess books to share them between two students. How many excess books did each child or each student get? division. Therefore, we are saying 54 divided by 2. In number 54, there are two digits. That is 4 and 5. 4 in the 1's position, 5 in the 10th position. Therefore, how many 10s are in 54? There are 5 tenths. So, we, we use bars to represent the tenths. The bars are like this. One, two, three, four, five. So these are five tenths. And now we use these circles to represent the ones. So in our question, we have five tenths and four ones. And how many children? How many students? There are two students. One, two. This student, one. This student, two. Now let's start sharing the exercise books. So we normally start with tenths. So the first bar there, that is the first 10, the second 10, the third 10, the fourth 10. Now, after that, we remain with one 10. This one 10, now we regroup it into ones. So, and how many ones makes one 10? There are 10 ones that makes one 10. So, we put our uh, 10 ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, ten ones plus four ones, we get fourteen ones. Now let's start sharing the ones. The first ones go to the first student. The second one to the second student. The third one to the first student. The fourth one to the second student. The fifth one goes to the first student. The sixth one goes to the second student. Seventh, no, like that. Find out that all the tents have been shared. Remember, this teacher was very fair, sharing equally. So now let's find out how many excess books did each student get. So remember the bars represent tens. How many tens are there? One, two. So we got our tens there, two. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones. Also here, how many tens? There are two bars and each bar represents ten. So one, two. These are two tenths. 
and our ones are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there are seven ones. Therefore, each student got 27 exercise books. So in our quotient now is 27. In long division, you are also beginning with tenths. So five tenths divided by two, it's two. Because two times two, it's four. Take away now. Five take away four, it's one. This one, it's one tenth. And because one can't divide two, we drop our ones there and they become 14 ones. 14 divided by two, it's seven because of 14. And as you can see, there isn't any remainder. And our answer is 27. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, write a comment, and do practice. That's best.